Well, a few homebrew Wednesdays ago, I showed you this little wire strainer I'd managed to pick up after a lengthy discussion on uh, how much they cost. I managed to find one for the sub £60 bracket. Still an expensive investment, but I had been toying with another idea, and after getting this, it sort of finally prompted me to buy a few bits and try and put it into. Uh, something that may or may not work hopefully it will because I've spent the money on the parts um, so what I done was I bought something very similar it's an 8 inch 1.5 inch tri-clamp 38mm bore tube as you can see pretty much close to what that one is couple of tri-clamps going to need them because obviously you need to make a fitting up to connect your hose to. You can obviously use a male or female half inch threaded one and use cam locks, whatever sort of fittings. You, you can buy pretty much one of these to accommodate pretty much anything. So you need obviously a couple of clamps, something to go on the end. And the idea is, this is a little hop bazooka, hop strainer, whatever you want to call them. I picked this up on eBay a couple of years ago on a on a penny auction and I sort of ended up paying about two or three quid for it. I ended up uh, I bought another one. They were that good a deal. That cost me about eight pounds. If you go on eBay, the cheapest you'll find tri clamps for is about two and a half quid. Um, same for these. These are around. I bought a pair of these with a tri clamp for a fiver. Um, that's going to be about eight pounds, something like that. Um, this is the last piece of the puzzle I've been waiting for. Unfortunately, you can only get these in National Pipe Taper thread, which doesn't work too well with a lot of BSP and BSP T pipe fittings. But we're going to try. If I was going to do it again, I think I would go for the one with just the plain hole in it. Because the idea is, I've removed the barrel nipple from the hop strainer. We're going to thread it through there, hopefully and attach the other side to this female tri-clamp like so so I'm going to try and uh, bang that together with a bit of persuasion and a large hammer and see what we come up with right so we've had a little modification and we've dropped the barrel nipple as the thread is too tight as expected with it being taper thread some fit some don't even these sort of barrel nipples you'll get 70% of the way down and then it'll start binding which sort of machine tolerances of something whether it's a thread cutting but what we've done is we've got a male threaded dry clamp let me show you one if I've got one so what we're looking at is one of those screwed right through the back of the blank and then we've mounted the hop screen back on just screwed it back on bit of ptfe tape hopefully that's uh, sufficient to make a seal we can't test it yet all i've done is just bent the ends in rather than it being flat just put a little curve on them so it will slide down there like so and that is, your, that is your housing. So let's just try a um, seal. Put a gasket on there. Mount that there. One of the little cheap lightweight tri clamps is good enough for this. So there we have it. Your filter screen is in there, your inlet would go there obviously outlet that side so if you want to uh, just put a hose on there so let's use it for um, transferring from the fermenter after you've done a nice big old dry hop and you haven't put it in a bag or maybe transferring from a mash tun doesn't matter you've got a hop screen in here so mm, I don't know what gauge these are but going by those little um, filter screens I've purchased as well let's just get them out I think the ultra fine one would be too much 
but so there you go obviously you can change this fitting for whatever you need so we could change out pipe to pipe pipe to a half inch fitting and then put your quick disconnect tri clamp connect it directly to your kettle I guess if you wanted to but we've got that mesh going in there so you've got all this volume to collect debris before it would foul uh, anything that would get through the screen you can buy one of these little gaskets tri clamp gasket this is the 30 gauge one so if we put that against let's just get the other one out won't take it out of the wrapper but um, give you an idea of the mesh is about half as much again so what we could do is just pop that as a secondary filter so anything that gets through uh, the hop screen, lost me tri clamp now, I need another one don't I? Let's just sort out another one, you can never have enough of these and I bought a job lot. So um, should be good to go. Right so we can put a secondary filter on there. Just nip that up. You can buy various gauges in that filter system, but uh, yeah, so that's about it. Depending on obviously how you configure it is going to affect the cost, but obviously it's still going to weigh in less than one of these. I know these are nice and convenient, but um, obviously you've got this somewhere else. This is the cheaper alternative to have a backup um, or add this on somewhere along the line. In addition to this, obviously you can buy various types of mesh. I have got some which I think is plaster as mesh. It's not in here, it's in my other, in my other shed. But obviously you can buy strips of uh, fine mesh. You could coil that round the filter screen to give you an extra. So basically that filter would just act as a support. You could wrap a finer mesh around this. Do the same, insert it in the tube. This is your housing. And do the same with your tri clamp fittings. And just add whatever one you need to suit your system. So that was about £9 for the spool tube. £4 for that. Normal gaskets are pennies. Um, these are about £3 if you go for these. Tri clamps, £2.5 each. So we've got three there. Uh, fitting. Obviously it works out cheaper if you're buying a load of them if you are doing a build. Um, but you're looking sort of three pounds plus postage, so round about a fiver-ish. So you can go sort of, you know, less than 30 quid to make something up. Obviously depending on what fittings you use, but um, you can, uh, I've got larger, larger hose barbs, which will fit my silicone hose I'm using on the brew system. So obviously I could put these on the hose and have that and use this in or again change that to one of those with a quick disconnect so it can be built into your system wherever you need it so it's a little bit cheaper should work we'll find out when we get the system built and we'll give it a go but uh, we'll have a little experiment if I can find some small diameter piping I'll run a tap through the mains water and just see uh, if she does bring a leak there, because that's going to be the only place that it does go. I might just need some more PTFE. I have only done it hand tight as well at the minute, because I don't like putting these in the vise. But uh, it will mark the ed outside edge. It doesn't affect the gaskets, but um, I have to find me. Um, I've got one of those rubber oil filter removal tools, so that would probably get a little bit more grip. And make it a little bit tighter but it is screwed up to as far as the face as it's going to go so it's not really going to make it much more tight than it already is it's just a play in the thread and it might need sealing with a bit more ptfe tape to do the job but there you go should be able to knock one of them up for under 30 quid which i don't think is too bad considering the other ones cost you about 100 pound to ship over